Hello everyone, Ms. Christine here. This is a book I'm very excited to share with you. It's about gardening. It's Gabby's If Then Garden. It's written by Carol Karaja. Karaja? It's a very difficult last name for me. Let's get reading. Meet our coding creatives. This is Addie. Addie likes arts and crafts. She spends most of her time coloring, playing music, and making things. Whenever she sees something new, she wonders how it came to be. She likes to say, hmm, I wonder. This is Gabby. Gabby loves to read, play outside, and take care of her dog, Charlie. She is always curious about how things work. Whenever she sees something that needs fixing, she tries to find the best way to improve it. She often says, hmm, what if? Addie and Gabby make a great team. Every spring, the girls help their parents plant their gardens. They prepare the soil, choose which plants they'll grow, and plant the seeds. It says if it's sunny, you water. If the weather is dry, then they water the plants. If it rains, then they don't water the plants. If weeds start to grow, then they pull them from the garden. If a rabbit eats their plants, then they must start over. So this says, if it rains, you don't water. Today, Addie and Gabby are playing in Gabby's backyard. My mom said we could pick tomatoes, Gabby says. Red tomatoes are ripe. Greens, green ones aren't ripe yet. If a tomato is red, then put it in the basket. If a tomato is green, then leave it on the vine. It says red tomatoes go in the basket. If then statements. If then examples are, are all around us at home and school and in nature. Computers use if then statements in their codes. A code is like a set of instructions for the computer to make a to make it perform a task, such as showing a video or playing a game. Encoding, if then statements are called conditional statements. The if is the condition. Different conditions or ifs will cause different outcomes or that. If something happens, then the computer does something. Example, if you press the number three on a keyboard, then a number three will show up on the screen. If then are one way we tell computers what to do. So if the tomatoes are green, we don't put them in the basket. Can we water the plants, Adia? Addie says. Sure, Gabby says. If we turn the knob, then water will come out of the hose. And if we have move the umbrella, then the plants will get some sun, Addie says. That gives Gabby an idea. Let's play the if-then game. Only if you tell me what it is, Addie says with a giggle. It's like Simon says, Gabby explains. But instead of Simon, the leader is called the programmer. The follower is called a computer. The programmer gives the computer commands. Commands are how a computer knows what to do. Like this. If the programmer says boop, then the computer says beep. Boop, Gabby shouts. Beep, Addie shouts. Boop, Addie, Gabby whispers. Beep, Addie whispers. Bonk, Gabby says. Mm. Addie puts her hand over her mouth and shakes her head. I can't say it, she says. That wasn't the right command. Boop equals beep. Good job following the command, computer, Gabby says. Now it's your turn to be the programmer. Okay, Addie says. If the programmer does a jumping jack, then the computer does a cartwheel. Addie does a jumping jack. Gabby does a cartwheel. Addie does another jumping jack. 
But this time, Gabby doesn't do a cartwheel. Computer, what's wrong? Addy asks. It says jumping jack equals cartwheel. We have a bug in the code, Gabby says. To fix it, the programmer has to ask them the computer questions. Hmm, Addy says. Are you hurt? Gabby shakes her head no. Are you tired? Addy asks. Bugs in the code. Sometimes computers don't do what we expect them to do. The code is not working. Programmers have to try different things to figure out what's wrong. The program is called a bug. Fixing it is called debugging. The programmer debugs the code to make it work again. Gabby shakes her head again. She holds up her hands to give Addy a hint. Oh, Addy says, Gabby's hands are covered in squashed tomatoes. Are you dirty? Gabby nods her head yes and waves her messy hands in the air. I cart cartwheeled right on top of the tomato, she says. Addie and Charlie help Gabby clean up. Okay, let's try this again, Addie says. She does a jumping jack and Gabby does a cartwheel. The computer is working again, Gabby cheers. The programmer debugged the code with Charlie's help. The if-then game is fun, Addie says. It's how computers know what to do, Gabby explains. A programmer has to give it a command, just like in the garden, Addie says. Right, Gabby agrees. Gabby and Addie are tired after a fun day in the garden. Gabby says, if your mom says it's all right, then you, you can come back tomorrow. Addie says, and if you give me some of your yummy pears, then my dad and I will make a pear tart to share with you tomorrow. Okay, Gabby says, we make a good team. Look at Charlie in the background with the pear right on his nose. Silly dog. It says, can you match these if then? There are all sorts of fruits and vegetables in the garden. We can use them to create delicious things to eat. Use your finger to match each plant to the food it can make. If you have, so let's look, we have an orange, a tomato, a pepper, an apple, a cabbage or lettuce, and potato. Let's look at the next page. We have pizza with it looks like some peppers looks like we have some salsa some carrots and lettuce looks like an apple pie some orange juice and some french fries you can pause here and see if you can match some of the foods from the previous page with what they become here's our glossary it defines words like, like bug, code, command, computer, condition, conditional statement, debug, outcome, programmer. There's Charlie digging, silly dog. Thank you for enjoying this story with me.